Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, let's see how you can connect a domain to Cloudflare. So I thought I had this domain connected already to Cloudflare, apparently not. So as I connect it, let's see how to do it. So I'm already logged in, but if you're not logged in, let's just see uh, what you'll need to do. First, I want to go to the front end of the website. Copy, Control Shift N. So if you go to cloudflare.com, you can create your account by signing up. So when you click on sign up, you can select a plan and probably you want to start with a free plan. So you'll just click there to add a website and then you'll continue with the process of, of creating your account. So you'll need to get started with Cloudflare. Continue with Google, create an account with Google. You can continue with your Apple account or you can just use an email and a password and then continue from there. So since I already have an account, let's see how you can go about it. And the process from here should be the same. So go to the account where you want to add the website. Up here, all your accounts will be there. You can select whichever account you want to work with. And then once you're in that account, just click there to connect a domain. You can do all this, but let's connect a domain. The domain that I want to connect is on Spaceship. Spaceship is a domain registrar hosting. If you need affordable hosting, email hosting, domains, you can look at Spaceship. I'll put the link in the description below. So Launchpad, this is the dashboard. So I want to connect one of my domains. I'll go here under Domain Portfolio. So Spaceship is a Namecheap company. I want to connect this domain. So I'm just going to copy it. Just click there to copy the domain name. Then I'll come back here, paste it. Assuming that this is an online website. If the website is online and you don't want any downtime as you connect the domain to Cloudflare, you're going to just leave this selected quick scan for DNS records. What this is going to try to do is it's going to look on the internet for your DNS records and then it will try to pull them into your Cloudflare DNS. You can also enter DNS records manually. You can upload a DNS zone file. But in this case, I'll go with the first one, which is quick scan for DNS records. And then I'll continue. I will select the free plan. Just click on it. Make sure it is selected and then click on continue. So once it scans for DNS records, it's going to list them here, but it seems like my domain didn't have any DNS records because there's nothing running on it. So this is understandable for me. And then I'll just click on continue to activation. So you can add records later for now. I don't have any DNS records, so I'm just going to continue to the next step. And the next step is to add the name servers that Cloudflare has given me to my name server on the domain provider. Wherever you bought your domain from, go and add these name servers there. I'm going to click to copy the first one and then I'll go back here. So I'm on Spaceship. If I click on it, I can just click on it and come here under name server and DNS. You're going to click there on change and then click on custom name servers. Add the first one, add the second one. And then save name server settings. Change to custom DNS. You can just go to Cloudflare wait for the confirmation just click down there to continue and wait for the confirmation at some point in a few minutes cloudflare is going to send you an email telling you that your domain is now active on cloudflare and after that you can do whatever you need to do maybe you want to change the dns records you'll come here you'll find your dns records at this point if you have any dns records to add you can add them here if you don't have any default records to add, let's see, there's usually default Cloudflare A IP. 
okay that's not the one let's look for alias record cloudflare okay so come to this redirect one domain to another and here you can get some sample a records that you can use if you don't have an a record so in this case you can use this and you can also use an aaa record which is a you can also use a quad a record which is an ipv6 record something like that so this is just for someone that doesn't have an a record you don't have an ip address that you can use an, as an a record so in this case i will add this as my a record and the reason i'm adding this is because i don't have an ip to use here but at the same time i also want to redirect this domain to sido.com so i'm just going to leave this make sure you leave the proxy status as on this is how this is how cloudflare communicates with your domain so i'm going to save that all right so if i want to redirect this domain let's just see if the domain is now active on cloudflare come back to overview and yeah the domain is now active on cloudflare make sure that you get an if you don't get an email just give it some time maybe 30 minutes all right thanks for watching that's how to connect your domain to cloudflare how to add your website or domain to cloudflare in this video i used spaceship but you can use any domain provider the steps are just the same you add the domain to cloudflare and then you change the name servers to whatever cloudflare has given you All right so if you want to look at what spaceship offers you can come in here and see what they offer the web hosting vps and the different products that they have thanks until next time